Typhoon Lakima has rapidly intensified overnight and is now a Category 5 storm on the Sappho Simpson scale with winds of 160 miles per hour and a pressure of 940 millibars verified by Force 13 SATI, its way of measuring the satellite estimate of the storm. Um, on the CDPS, it is also now a Stage 9 on the Cyclone Destruction Potential Scale for Ishigaki in the southernmost Ryukyu Islands. The damage potential is extreme. This storm is extreme and is still intensifying. Its current position right now is at 21.7 north, 126.9 degrees east at 10 p.m. local time in China and Taiwan, August 7th, 11 p.m. Japan time. It's currently 238 miles from Miyakojima, 256 from Ishigaki, 328 still from Basco in the Philippines, 413 from Taipei and 585 from Wenzhou in China. This is a very dangerous storm at this time, a gale advisory in effect for the Ryukyu Islands and for southern Kagoshima, heavy rain advisory in effect for northern Taiwan and a sea typhoon warning which will extend over land areas pretty soon we envisage over the next 24 hours. Looking at the total rainfall expectation over the next seven days, the only thing that has stopped Lakima from being a stage 10 on the CDPS is because the rainfall distribution is now no longer expected to be quite as high over Taiwan. We could still see on the order of 500 millimeters, but not as much as we were seeing on the forecast a few days ago. Uh, the eastern coast of China will also get hit by significant amounts of rainfall, possibly extending into the Shanghai area. And indeed, if the storm does blow through the southernmost Ryukyu Islands, it will maintain a lot more strength if it does go on to strike China as well. So that's something else that we need to watch very closely. This could be a disastrous storm. Sea surface temperatures are certainly going to help it as well. 30 degrees plus uh, as it enters the East China Sea. That's not going to slow down Lakima at all. And looking at the wind forecast from the GFS model there, um, it is still lagging behind a little bit obviously, but there could still be room for more intensification up until it reaches those southernmost Ryukyu Islands and then for it to maintain or gradually weaken as it approaches the coast of China. It could still strike the coast of China as a Category 4 storm, and it could still deviate south and strike Taiwan as a Category 4 or 5 in the next two days, but that possibility is decreasing. The main threat is on those southernmost islands. 99% chance of tropical storm force winds at Ishigaki, 92% at Miyakojima, 86% at Gilan, 84% at Taipei, and 74% at Wenzhou. So looking at what the models are saying right now, they are so far behind at this point. The satellite appearance of Lakima is really amazing. Eye temperature plus 16 degrees Celsius, cloud tops minus 80 degrees almost the full way round. If that doesn't convince you that it's at least a strong category 4, then I'm not sure what will. With sea surface temperatures 30 degrees plus, wind shear remaining low, further intensification is possible as it reaches those southernmost Japanese islands. Looking at those models there, they could, uh, the storm could brush the coast near Shanghai and then uh, follow the outline of the coast of China. So here is where the storm is right now and how it has been looking in those latest frames. It really is a recent development, but the appearance has been looking good enough for a good four hours to support Category 5 status at this point, which is more than what we used for the Barbara update. Um, and it's quite a well-established technique that we use now um, and there's nothing um, questionable about the status of this storm at this stage. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already. You may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show force 13's colors wherever you go. You can also find a link to our discord server underneath this video in the description.